Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. I don't always tell you what you want to hear, but I tell you what you need to hear to make informed decisions. Now, I do my research for me and I share with my community. And I can't stand people to sugarcoat or lie to me. And if you're tired of that, you're going to love this channel. Now, sometimes it's the hard truth, but I want you to be in the 10% of people that make money in crypto because 90% of everyone in crypto lose money. And it's because of misinformation and maybe the lack of a plan and some other things. But basically, the biggest flaw in all of crypto that I see are influencers do not do any research. They sound intelligent. They sound like they did research, but they only research one particular project. And it's normally the hot project that they like and they have a tribe of people. Well, when I say they don't do any research, they only research that project. And trust me when I tell you, if you research the dominant players or the competition, you will understand how much misinformation you get in crypto every single day. Because Wall Street, the legacy banks, and the governments pick winners and losers, and they have a heck of a roadmap. And if you don't pay attention to it, you're going to get wrecked. Now, say that with love. Now, this is going to be a video that probably doesn't make sense right now because I'm going to compare SUI to SWIFT. And people that haven't done deep dives are not even going to remotely understand what I'm about to say. But when it comes to real world assets and payments, don't be surprised if a blockchain like this comes out of nowhere and starts to dominate. Now, I'm not saying it will, but you need to understand the big picture of what's going on in the world because what I'm going to share with you as far as atomic settlement and payments and real world assets, you can see it if you do the research. I don't even see that it's negotiable because we are way down the road with these projects. Yes, it's still early, but we can see who is dominating the future and what their plans are, and we can read the roadmaps of the most powerful entities on the planet. So hit the like button and let's dive into SUI and how that relates to payments, real world assets, and SWIFT. Now, if you've never been to their website, guys, go there, do some research, non biased, independent research. Now, right now, if you scroll through YouTube, I mean, everyone is comparing SUI to Soul. It's the next Soul killer. All the influencers are jumping on board. But, why would they just compare it to Solana? Because, guys, it is way more than that. Now, we know that Grayscale has launched a trust. That is a big deal, and it shows credibility for the team and the blockchain and its future, in my opinion. Now, I'm going to share something which really kicked this off for me. I try to go straight to the source. And I want to always compare the relevant players in the market, just like right now. No if and buts about it. When it comes to the flow of money, you have SWIFT, JP Morgan, FIS Global, Goldman Sachs, HSB, HSBC. Those are the dominant players. So if I was going to invest in cross-border payments or anything like that, I would start to see what they are doing. And when you compare their roadmaps, you start to laugh at some of the information you see online because no one's talking about them. They don't even know this stuff exists. Like, what's JP Morgan doing? What's the SWIFT? What's their game plan? People still think that SWIFT is just for data. It's highly misinformed. Yeah, that's Web 2, but they've rolled out their Web 3. ISO so-called banking reset has already occurred. Well, why didn't all the ISO tokens pump? Well, I've got a video that you can see at the end. I'll leave a link. 
Guys, the banking reset is occurring. It's already happened. SWIFT went live with their new blockchain and they're moving trillions of dollars. Well, why isn't HBAR and IOTA and Algorand and XRP and XLM, why are they not exploding? Because they're not relevant in the big picture of cross-border payments and the flow of money, period. Anyway, this got me looking into SWE or SUI and it led me to comparing it to SWIFT. Check this out. Now, this is one of the founders of the blockchain. He's in a different league. So um, SWE doesn't have a maximum throughput. So SWE can do, in a minimal configuration, a mainnet can do over 290,000 transactions per second. You had eight times the hardware, you get eight times the throughput, no increase in latency. Um, transactions on SWE are already half a second in finality. It's already the fastest by an order of magnitude. So SWE's already built for scale now. It's not promising scale in two, three, four, five years or a window that never exists. So in terms of the technology stack, it's already way advanced of its, of its uh, competitors. And separately, Sui's competing with Google, Amazon, and other stacks for agreement. Um, so think about what they just said. Sui is, or Sui is competing with Google and Amazon for settlement. Well, that led me down a rabbit hole. And because one thing I know for sure, from studying the legacy banks and Swiss roadmap is atomic settlement is the future. All the roadmaps are going there. And that's not remotely debatable. That, that's already been launched and that's what they're doing to settle trillions of dollars. We all know that real world assets are the future. Well, I want you to think about something. Most tokens are gonna disappear and won't be needed. They may be used, but they won't be needed and they won't have the demand that you think, in my opinion. Now, here's how atomic settlement works. We know that your health records, your house, your car, everything will be tokenized in the future. Well, it's going to be tokenized by a smart contract and it's going to have messaging and settlement combined in one smart contract. So then, You'll have a smart contract on one side, like I'm going to tokenize this money, and you're going to tokenize the deed to your house with instructions on both sides. And then the ledger will make that happen if everything is met, both online and offline through atomic settlement. That's what the future looks like. All payments are going to be tokenized unless it's simplified. Now, I want you to think about one other thing before I dive into this is the, the first tokenized assets were stable coins. They tokenized money. So when people tell you that we're going to be using, like, say, XRP in the future and all the money and all that, it's not even remotely the truth. You can see how the future of payments are going to look like on the first level when someone just wants to send, you know, $100,000, you know, overseas, they can easily do that with a stable coin. And who's dominating it in a big way? Ethereum, whether it's Tether or USDC, most transactions and all the volume is on Ethereum. So those ISO tokens that are supposed to change the world and, and change banking, that is not going to happen. It's not even possible. No one's even trying to push that in that direction. Now, yes, they may get their share and they may have a place, but right now the ISO platform with SWIFT has launched and it's not relevant. So study up on stable coins and understand the process of payments. It's going to help you in the big picture. And the reason I tell you this, guys, I don't care which project you you uh, invest in. You know, real world assets there's going to be hundreds of projects that absolutely rip. But if you're thinking about hodling or not taking profits, hopefully videos like this will help you because if you understand the big picture, it's going to be easy for you to take profits. Now, here's what I did. I went to Claude AI. It's almost as non-biased as I am. And I asked Claude a very simple question. 
and I said, SWIFT is building a new platform for atomic settlement where you have tokenized assets and data delivered at the same time, which in my deep dive, I found out that, that SUI can do that. So it said, um, delivered at the same time and settled on a DLT ledger. That seems to be the future. SUI has the same ability to deliver data and settlement at the same time. Can you elaborate on that? So it was just an open-ended question about my thoughts. Here's what Claude said. You're referring to some interesting developments in the world of financial technology and blockchain. Let me break this down and elabor elaborate on the concepts you've mentioned. Guys, these are not my words. This is called AI non-bias. So he says, Swift's new platform is indeed working on a platform for atomic settlement. This is part of their broader initiative and modernization of cross-border payments and settlement. Atomic settlement refers to simultaneous exchange of assets. In traditional finance, there's often a delay, et cetera, et cetera. Atomic settlement aims to make this process instantaneous, reducing counterparty risk. Tokenized assets. These are assets represented for real-world assets like stocks, bonds, commodities on the blockchain. Now, that's another point, and then I'll keep reading. When, you come, when it comes to dominance, guys, no matter what these influencers tell you of, of what their tribal project's going to do, if the legacy banks, for instance, and the big companies like BlackRock, when, when you don't think they're going to dominate, think about this. If they don't ever go out into the world and be involved in anything else, they just tokenize their customers, they are will be the biggest dominant player. It's not even funny. So they will pick winners and losers. So whatever blockchain, like right now they're using Ethereum and Ondo and projects like that, they will dominate. And if you're like me and you only invest bull run to bull run, which is smart because of the countless risk of going outside of the bull run, that will make sense to you and you need to understand that. Now, get back to what it was saying. Tokenization can increase liquidity and make assets more easily tradable. Data and settlement delivery. The platform Swift is delivering, is developing and aims to deliver both the, the asset in tokenized form and the associated data simultaneously. Guys, that is the future. All you have to do is do some independent research. You're going to see these influences like the XRP influencers tell you all this crazy information about what's coming it's already here and it xrp is not even remotely relevant now maybe they'll get their share ripple will definitely get its share but they're on the wrong track and again watch that video at the end if you want some more information now Data and settlement delivery. The platform Swift is developing and aims to deliver both assets. Well, I've already read that. Uh, DLT technology. This is the underlying technology of blockchains allowing for decentralized and transparent rec record, a transparent record of transactions. Now, SUI and its capabilities. SUI is a layer one platform developed by Meisten Labs like Swift's initiatives. SUI also has the capability to handle both data and value settlement in the same transaction. This is part of the SUI's objective-centric model, which allows for more flexible and efficient smart contract development. Again, guys, and I, I'm not harping on XRP. I just want people to understand the facts. And if you want to buy XRP, have at it. But to be part of the future it's about atomic settlement and smart contracts there are no smart contracts on xrp now it's coming to the xrp ledger but they are so far behind and it's not a easy flow whatever that's worth now here's the uh the benefits of 
this new method. It reduces settlement times, lower cost, improves transparency, reduces counterparty risk, and it enhances probability to financial instruments. Guys, that's what's going to be important. Everything is going to come with instructions. So when people say this, I hear it all the time. Anytime I make an XRP video or even a SWIFT video with nothing to do with XRP, they all say, oh, that's just a messaging system. XRP is going to be the settlement layer. No, that's not true. They're going to have their own settlement layer through Atomic Settlement, and they already have launched it almost three months ago, and they are literally using Atomic Settlement. The banks, understand this, guys, are settling trillions of dollars, instant settlement with abundance of liquidity every single day. That ISO banking system, you know, banking reset, it was just a lot. It's happening, and it is going to happen. But those players that we've all been told to buy and stack, that were, you know, all the money, it's just a lie, guys. Anyway, I, here, here's my big picture point that I, I want everyone to understand. I believe, and I want to get to the charts and some other information. I really believe that in the long run, it's going to be more like the 2000.com. And if you weren't old enough like me to be around for that, go research it, guys. I've done my research. I was actually there. But in 1999, for instance, every IPO that was launched, it's identical to this. There were millionaires being made every single day out of Silicon Valley, guys under 25 years old. And, you know, we're changing the Internet, changing the world. And all those IPOs that made people endless amounts of money all disappeared. Every one of them, the top 100, do not exist. They either, either disappeared or they merged into the bigger players and became a small division, whatever. That's just the way the world works. And I believe that's what's going to happen in crypto. Fast forward 10, 15, 20 years from now, there's going to be a handful of major players just like Google came out of nowhere and dominated search Microsoft did what it did same with uh, Apple that's how the world works and the same players unfortunately that dominate everything in the world are going to dominate everything in crypto for the most part they're going to have the lion's share of real world assets they're going to have the lion's share of DeFi uh, being the custodian for real world assets. It's already in the works if people care to take a look at it. And again, guys, a lot of crypto projects can rip, can make a ton of money. I'm not telling you which one to buy. You don't have to buy SUI, but you need to pay attention to what's happening. Now, when it comes to payments, right? Look at what is being what the stable coins are doing right now. When they launch on the bigger projects like Ethereum, SUI's total value lock is exploding. Solana's total val value lock is exploding. Binance, when you see those stable coins on those rails, that kind of tells you who's winning, whether we want to hear that or not. All right. Now, let's compare SUI to Solana, because I believe that Solana is going to keep ripping for this bull run. I think you've missed the life-changing gains. I think that uh, Solana might end up going to 500, 750, possibly, but I really believe it's probably going to end up somewhere around the 350 to 500 range, and it has a lot of upside. I don't believe it will flip Ethereum, but it could for a week or so. But when, it, when this bull runs over, I have no doubt Ethereum will still be number two. I do believe Solana will be number three. And we're going to talk about the other top ten projects here in a second. But now, guys, if you don't know how to use this website, go to marketcapof.com. And this gives you some real ways to make price prediction. So what I typed in was uh, SUI versus Solana. So if SUI can get to where Solana is right now, that's a 
about almost a 15 X so 14 uh, and a quarter X now if it can get to where Solana's all-time high was in the last bull run that's a 19 X so either way I personally believe that Sui will outperform Solana in the remainder part of this bull run it has a lower market cap it has room to run I think Solana will do well but if I had to pick one it would definitely be Sui now check this out if that happens if Sui can catch Solana to its last bull run I believe it's probably going to get it has a chance I really believe this I believe it has a chance to get right behind Solana I don't know another project may come out of nowhere and do it but I really believe it could do it if that happens it's going to be in front of near protocol I believe it's a better project with a better future polka dot there's no way in any world that polka dot should be in front of Sui, in my opinion. Chainlink is a powerhouse, but it's set up totally different. It's not a layer one. And, you know, it's an interoperability play. And I think it should definitely be in front of Chainlink. Avalanche, it should be in front of Avalanche. Definitely be in front of Cardano. Now, Ton, because of the number of subscribers and users, that I don't know about. I could see Ton getting in right behind Solana. Dogecoin, it should definitely be in front of Dogecoin, but that's a meme coin. It shouldn't even be part of the, the makeup, in my opinion. But XRP, you know, XRP is at 34 billion. It's probably going to get more like 50 billion, 55 billion. But I believe that Sui could easily flip XRP. I know I hear the crying right now. Now, could it flip finance? I I doubt it. So I, let's back up. I don't believe it's going to uh, outperform Solana and Binance. So it would be just behind probably Binance because I do believe Solana, no if and buts about it, will overthrow BNB. So anyway, for whatever that's worth, guys. I really like this project and when you dig into the tech and I don't know why people haven't well I do because it doesn't move the needle you know we hear so much about like ICP and it's the best tech out there the only reason people think it's the best tech out there is they probably haven't compared it to other tech and remember this guys no if and buts about it best tech does not mean best investment so who cares how good the tech is I would rather buy something with all the hype on the planet and then sell it in this bull run and make money that's why I'm here and if you're not yes you'll get a lot of alpha from this channel guys I'm here for the money but the one thing I don't like about uh, this project is the tokenomics because right now it's at 4.7 billion market cap but the fully diluted market cap which you need to understand is 17 billion so you know a 3x from their 4x from there is possible but not if you get dumped on so depending on what happens of the unlocks which they have a major unlock coming this month so this thing could pull back this month but you look at the chart guys that's one of the better charts of the year it launched in 2023 and it absolutely ripped yes it came back but look at the bounce and the rebound from this project it's up 250 percent for uh, the year so that is a big move up from this bottom so anyway guys I hope you can understand the connection between Swift and Sui. Now, um, I don't believe that it is going to take over or be a dominant player or even a dominant narrative for real world assets or payments in this bull run. But, guys, it has a gaming platform that it's rolled out that, from the developers on the inside, are saying this project could literally be one of the biggest dominant players in all of gaming 
No one's even talking about it. This is a do it all layer one. No if and buts about it. I'm extremely bullish on the project. I don't like the tokenomics, but one thing we you got to understand about tokenomics, and this is really important, and then I'm gonna let you guys go. In a bull run, when you have huge demand, it doesn't matter about tokenomics. A project can absolutely absorb those, to those dumps and keep ripping. Look at any project in 2017, 2021. Look at XRP in the day. They, they have dumped and dumped and dumped, and uh, it kept ripping until the bear market, until the demand went down. Same with Solana. That thing had horrible tokenomics, Polygon, Avalanche, all, Ethereum. All those projects had bad tokenomics in, in their first bull run. Some still have bad tokenomics, and that's why they didn't make a new all-time high in their second bull run. So we don't care about the next bull run. We care about this bull run. So I believe that this project can absolutely rip for a blue chip but that being said when this bull run is over they will keep increasing this supply just like all the other projects and that's why 90 percent of all projects ever created in crypto did not make a new all-time high in their second bull run why because of the tokenomics it, the supply kept getting going up which is about develop devaluating the, the the token and the price and in the when there's no demand it's just going to keep getting dumped on it's going to keep going down keep going down and the odds are when that the supply has increased two to three x in the following bull run there's no new all-time high I'll give you a perfect example and again guys this is just education it's not fun but xlm for instance in the last bull run because of the tokenomics, did not make a new all-time high price-wise, but it actually made a new all-time high market cap-wise. But we don't care about that. We care about the price. If you bought, if you buy something at two dollars and it has to get back to two dollars, and you want it to get to four dollars, and it makes a new all-time high at a dollar fifty, you still lose money. But tokenomics matter. Now that being said, guys, I'm gonna I just did a video on tokenomics. It simplifies, it's a very good example. You know, it's gonna be up here, up here at the end of this video, and watch that and also watch the other video uh, I talked about about the ISO tokens. I think it'll help you out a lot. That being said, guys, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching for $250 for free Zoom or phone calls. If you have some questions, or you need to understand tokenomics better, or how to dollar cost average in or out, or how to compare these projects, I think it'll help you out a lot. And whether you take me up on that or not, guys, do yourself a favor, get a game plan, and take profits, or you're going to become the profit. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Hit the like button, and come back and be part of this community. Take care, guys.